Hello children. Today we are going to discuss Tyndall effect of class 9 science. So what is Tyndall effect? Tyndall effect is the scattering of a beam of light. Scattering of a beam of light by the particles of colloid or a very fine suspension is called Tyndall effect. It means it is a scattering of a beam of light by the particles of the solution. It may be called a solution or it may be a suspension, fine suspension particles. And due to Tyndall effect, the path of the beam of light is visible to us. Due to Tyndall effect, the path of the beam of light is visible to us. So let us start an activity in which we can find the difference between a two solution colloid solution and suspension with respect to Tyndall effect. With respect to Tyndall effect. So let us prepare a two solution by using a copper sulfate. Let us prepare a two solution by using copper sulfate. We all know that the formula of copper sulfate is CuSO4. Copper sulfate is copper sulfate pentahydrate. It is copper sulfate pentahydrate. So let us prepare a solution of copper sulfate by using copper sulfate crystals. So I am putting copper sulfate crystals in water to prepare a solution of copper sulfate. I am using copper sulfate powder, crystals of copper sulfate. This is a solution of copper sulfate and I am going to prepare two solution. So I am stirring it properly. This is a blue color solution of copper sulfate. So let us keep it for some time. Then I am going to prepare colloidal solution. I am going to prepare a colloidal solution by using few drops of water. Milk sorry. This is water and I am putting few drops of milk I'm putting few drops of milk in this water. Let us stir it properly. This is colloidal solution which we have prepared by putting a few drops of milk in water. Okay. Now let us prepare suspension also. By for preparing suspension, we can use sand, we can use chalk powder, we can use wheat flour. So I am having this wheat flour and I am putting this wheat flour in water. I am putting this wheat flour in water and I am preparing suspension by using wheat flour. Let us stir it properly. So I have prepared a solution of copper sulfate in water, solution of milk in water and wheat flour in water. I have prepared three types of solution and I want to show you the difference in the Tyndall effect, difference in these three solutions with respect to Tyndall effect. Okay, let us see what happens. So for this I am having this laser light. Tyndall effect is the scattering of the beam of light. Scattering the beam of light by the particles of the solution. Okay. So this is Tyndall effect. So I am having laser light for you uh, showing Tyndall effect. So you can see here. Are you able to see on the board? Yes. We can see this light on the board. But we are not able to see the path of the light. We can see this light on the board, but we are not able to see the path of the light. Are you able to see? We cannot see the path of the light. So let us see what happens in the case of two solution, which we have prepared the copper sulfate solution. Let us see whether the path of the light is visible through the solution or not. So. Let me switch off light for this. Are 
Are we able to see the path of the light? It is, we can see the flash of the light here, but its path is not visible. Path of the light is not visible through this true solution. Or I can show you like this also. Path of the light is not visible through this two solution. This is the solution of copper sulfate in water. This is the solution of copper sulfate in water. So path of the light is not visible here. It means it is not showing Tyndall effect. Okay. So let us see for color the solution. Whether the path of the light is visible or not. Are you able to see the color? Are you able to see the color through the solution? Here the light is scattered by the solution. Again let us compare it with the copper sulfate solution. No scattering. There is no scattering of light. You can see the flash of light here. But the path of the light is not visible through the solution. Okay. This is a true solution. But when we consider this colloidal solution. Uh, this is the solution of milk in water. So, the path of the light is visible. You can see the color of this light. Path of the light is visible. And you can see how the scattering happens. How the scattering, how the light is scattered through the solution. How the light is scattered through this solution. How the light is scattered through this solution. Okay, so this is colloidal solution and let us see now what happens with the suspension. What happens with our suspension? This is our suspension. Let us see whether it scatters the light or not. Oh wow, it is also scattering a beam of light. It is also scattering a beam of light. Are you able to see the color? Scattered light. We can easily observe the scattered light through this suspension. Let us again stir it because all the particles are getting settled at the bottom of the container. Yes, it is again showing colors, it is again showing scattered light through this solution. So we have seen that, we have just now seen that how True solution that is a solution of copper sulfate in water. It is not scattering a beam of light. And we cannot see the path of light through this. It means the particles of the solution are too small. They cannot be seen by our naked eyes. The particles of the solution are too small to be scattered. They are too small to scatter a beam of light. They are very small. They cannot scatter a beam of light. But the particles of colloidal solution... The particle of colloidal solution means solution of milk and water or we can say we can take ink also. So here the solution, uh, here the particles are very small. They cannot be seen by our naked eyes but they are not too small to scatter a beam of light. It means they can scatter a beam of light. They are small, they cannot be seen by our naked eye but they can scatter a beam of light. This is colloidal solution. Okay? Particles are small. It is again a heterogeneous mixture. Our true solution, solution of copper sulfate in water, this is a homogeneous mixture. This is a homogeneous mixture. Particles are very small. They cannot be seen by our naked eyes and they are not scattering a beam of light. Means they are not showing Tyndall effect. Okay, and in the case of colloidal solution, particles are again very small. They cannot be seen by our naked eyes, but they can scatter a beam of light. It means colloidal solution can show Tyndall effect. Okay, then let us see about suspension. Suspension, in suspension, particles are very large. They can be seen by our naked eyes. And they can scatter a beam of light. This is again a heterogeneous mixture. This is again a heterogeneous mixture. But if this suspension is allowed, uh, if, it, it is, uh, if it is kept undisturbed for some time, 
then the particles of the suspension will settle at the bottom of the container then there will not be any suspension they will not be suspended now they are they are no more suspended in the solution so at that time suspension will also not it will also not uh, show tindal effect means when the particles are suspended then only it can show tindal effect when they have settled at the bottom then it will not show tindal effect so suspension will also show tindal effect particles are very large they can be seen by our naked eyes but uh, sorry and they can also show tindal effect when they are suspended in the solution but when when they settle down when they are settled at the bottom then they will not show tindal effect so this is all about tindal effect for two solution for colloidal solution and for suspension true solution colloidal solution and for suspension so this is all about true solution suspension and colloidal solution difference of these three solutions with respect to tindal effect thank you all of you keep watching these videos thank you